Hi, this is the automation zone. This is a continuation of our previous tutorial, tutorial number three of web scraping. And we'll talk about uh, how to save our extracted contents from Google into an Excel sheet. So let me open up our previous application. So in this program, eventually in the end, we got a hash map called as all link map. Now we have to somehow copy this into an Excel sheet. So what I'll do is uh, we'll go ahead and create a new file. Okay. Called Excel functions.java. Now to work with Excel, we have got um, various jar files. What I use is Apache PUI. This is my choice. You all can use one that suits your needs. So. Apache PUI how to download it you know uh, okay you have to just go to Google and type APACHA Apache PUI go to the Apache PUI website in that go to downloads and under downloads uh, you should be having this the latest stable build you know and go in that now you left two sections here either the binary distribution or the source distribution you can take any one I prefer to go with binary again it's your choice so click on it and uh, your download should begin so I have downloaded this zip file and extracted it in this folder right here okay under selenium files and POI so you have to import all of this into your library all of these jar files so there are all of them there are six files here and i guess there are two few files under lib and few files under some other folder right here so let me go ahead and do that so how to do that uh, right click on your library or on your project build path configure build path uh, go to libraries add external jars the same old process okay so import your files again import the other files and import the other files as well so all my files are imported apply and close so all my files are imported now let's start with the program so what we'll do we'll make a function first so it returns nothing and let me call the function name as save data to excel I guess that's enough okay this function will accept what this function is basically going to accept your uh, your hash map right so hash map why hash map because what I prefer to do is uh, at the end of my program right here I'm thinking of calling this function right here which is save data to Excel and I will be passing my hash map which is all link map this has this hash map object to this function and this function is going to basically um, copy all of this contents into my Excel sheet so my hash map contains of two uh, value and key and both of them are strings so string and string let me give it a name called as Excel yes. uh, that's a good, uh, good enough name let me import hash map right here okay so once we're done with this uh, let's create a workbook so how to do that workbook okay and let me call as excel is already used so say wb workbook is equal to new now i prefer to use a new version of excel so xssf workbook okay import workbook from apache ss user model and import your XSSF workbook from the same so in this case your workbook is an interface and one second this is wrong uh, XSSF workbook 
should encode x yeah, right here okay so your x ssl workbook stands for your xlsx files okay so once you're done with that your workbook object is created now my workbook is blank i need to create a sheet right so workbook dot i there should be some function here to create a sheet so let me just type sheet uh, create sheet perfect and uh, it this returns a sheet object so s h e t sheet and uh, we give it as s h okay import your sheet object again from your s s user model so that's done so we have a sheet as well now after sheet we need to create rows so again take your sheet dot again row create row okay you have to basically type your row number so i'm creating my zero row first row second row so on so forth okay so i'm creating my first row which is which is having an index zero and uh, again a row object the same let me give it as a row small import row from ss user model again and the last step is to go ahead and create uh, your cell object so row dot create cell okay and uh, this I have to type it as cell cell is equal to row dot create cell. So import it from my SS user model again. Now once we are done with that, I can use my cell object to enter data. Okay, so I guess it should be a set set string okay here we are set cell value and i can enter any value of my choice right here so this is a way to enter data now we have to enter data uh, iterate a hash map which is excel object and enter data so till sheet is going to remain the same however each row will contain each data so we need to iterate three things our row cell and setting the cell value so let me take this down and let me make a for loop right here for each okay so for each what for each value of excel so again as I said last time it should be excel dot uh, entry set okay because we can iterate only an entry set and this should not be a row this should be a map okay map dot entry and each entry is going to have a string as a key and a string has a value and let me call this as each each key for each map right okay that makes sense just as last time okay no difference there now what we'll do uh, what we'll do is uh, initially we are going to create a variable called as row okay which is going to be an integer and i'll set this to zero we'll be using this row value in order to create uh, the rows within our excel sheet so what we'll do is we'll copy paste this right here and instead of row we'll be giving row okay there's a problem each row row okay i've assigned the same name over here let me give us int row or uh, row index that makes sense so row index and row index okay iras have gone away so 
in fact every iteration the index should increase so a double plus okay a cell so I have to paste it twice because I'm creating two cells here one for the key one for the value okay so a few changes a cell object right I can I have to define it only once so what I'll do is I'm going to come over here okay and paste it here cell Okay, I don't need to do it twice, one is enough, but I'm doing this for the tutorial so that it becomes easy. So let me give the cell key and cell value or better link text and cell link um, URL. So the first one is going to be my object of text the second one is going to be the object of my URL okay and this is going to iterate every time so it's not created every time it's created once and uh, I guess by now you all must have realized what we're doing we'll take we don't need this now we'll take we don't need this as well we'll take our text value we'll do dot set cell value string and we are going to take a map item dot get key so this is going to return my key and save it in my cell number zero in the same way I'm going to perform the same action for my URL My bad. Uh, URL will come here and instead of key I have to do dot get value so in my first cell I am going to enter my key in the second cell the value this will keep going on and on for uh, the number of iterations which is the number of rows present okay so once all this is done okay I need to save my excel sheet right so this starts here it ends here so right here <coughs> so what I'll do is I'm going to make an object of my file output system file output system is used to save files file output stream fso is equal to new file output stream let me import this from again your Java file output stream and we need to have a file object right here so new file and in your new file you need to specify the path where you want to save your file so let me save it in this output directory right here so output output uh, and what output double slash um, let me give it as excel dot x l s x import your file object from again your java dot io okay um, because you're creating something you will have to you know throw your declares just throw in exception that's enough so once you are done with that then I can use my workbook to save so workbook dot write and give my object which is FSO and we're done so this is going to write it in my file which is output folder excel file dot xlsx okay now only thing left to do is come back to my previous project and the last line create a uh, object of this particular Java class so what is that Excel functions Excel functions okay that is EF is equal to new Excel functions 
and ef dot save data to excel and we need to pass in a map a map is passed it's showing an error okay there are no errors here why is an error let me see ah i have to throw it less because it can throw an exception okay let me run this right now let's see what if it works Okay, one more page to go and okay let me refresh this I have an output file which is an XLS let me open this okay here we go so I have all of my link text as well as the URLs okay if you have any any questions about this tutorial you know just comment below and I will help you out thank you